Today is the Feast of the Holy Innocents. This is an episode recounted in the Gospel according to Matthew in which King Herod of Judea ordered a massacre of children under age two in order to try and kill baby Jesus. One Catholic historian says, quote, the act of cruelty perfectly corresponds with Herod's paranoid and merciless character. Joining us now from Poland is Father Dominic Yershak, professor of theology at the Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas, known as the Angelicum. Father Yershak, thank you very much for joining us. Can you tell us more about the Feast of the Holy Innocents? When did it become a feast day? And what do we know about the children who were killed? Of course, this feast is very particular because we are celebrating the feast during the octave of Christmas. And the octave of Christmas is a particular eight days once the church is celebrating the martyrs. So what we are celebrating today, it is the martyrs, uh, innocent martyrs, who gave their life for Jesus Christ. And that's the, that's the sense of that feast. So the innocents, they were killed by Herod, and in, in direct way, they gave the, 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 the testimony for, for Jesus Christ. Herod was obsessed with the power, and here is the message of this feast today. We don't want to be obsessed with the power, but we would like to subject to, to Jesus Christ, to his power, to, to his divine power. That's the, that's the main idea of this feast. Now, many church leaders have drawn a comparison between the holy innocents and babies who are killed in abortion. Please tell us more about that. Well, for the church, uh, especially during this octave of the, of, of, uh, of the Christmas, what is, uh, what is absolutely necessary is to understand the idea. Uh, for the Christians, the, the crucial point is the birthday, but birthday not to, to burn to this world, but to burn to the eternity. So for the church, it is absolutely incredible to, and is absolutely important to, to be born to, to the eternal life. That's why life is in the center, center of this feast. Life, um, as, as, as life of Jesus Christ, is also essential to understand what's the idea of Christmas. And the Christmas begins once we are for life. For life also in this in this world in this reality where we live in, in our countries in our communities now switching gears slightly here you are a dominican can you tell us why 2021 was so important for you and how it relates to your founder saint dominic 2021 was important it is important once we are celebrating 800 years from the birthday for the heaven as i said before uh, of our founder, St. Dominic. So we are celebrating in our communities and we are celebrating trying to renew our charism, trying to renew our uh, call to share the gospel all over the world. That's why it was crucial. It is crucial also through, through this Christmas, through this, this very particular moment in, in, our, in our church, in our communities, in our priories all over the world. Well, that is very interesting. Merry Christmas to you, and thanks for joining us. Father Dominic Yershak, Professor of Theology at the Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas. Thanks a lot, and blessed Christmas to all of you.